Guru Nation, how's it going? I wanted to share a very important finding happening uh, that's been actually uh, this AI predicting protein structure by DeepMind. We've been hearing about it for the last six months or so, maybe the last 12 months, but it's finally had a breakthrough. Um, the AI can predict protein structure. And you may be thinking, well, why are you talking about this? This is not a stock, Dan. This is not a biotech stock. This has nothing to do with clinical research. Oh, yes, it does. You got to read between the lines. You got to think a little bit further down the stream here. This, I think this is going to be, this is going to contribute to the clinical research industry, life sciences in general, entering a boom era. Why? Because now we can predict protein structure. So what I think is this is going to cause more companies, more sponsors, more pharmaceutical companies, more biotech companies to come out with drugs, right? Because proteins are either the receptors or the enzymes, which is a group of proteins. So if you can predict those structures, you can design a drug that can either inhibit uh, the particular enzyme activate the particular enzyme and the same thing when it comes to the target receptors which are proteins so we're going to look at that right with agonist and antagonist uh we're, we're going to do a little little like two minute like overview uh and then we're going to talk long term about the ramifications of this so shout out to latinos in clinical research always 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 providing great information on there not just about biotechs and due diligence but about recent events in the industry. So check that out. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do. By the way, if you're watching this video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Only 28% of you are who are watching this video are subscribed. That's a crime. That's a crime. So make sure that you change that and you comment, share, subscribe, like. So proteins are essential building blocks of living organisms. Every human cell is replete with them. While the understanding of these shapes of proteins is important for making medical advances, only a fraction of these have been deciphered until recently. The ability to use AI to predict the structures of almost every protein made by the human body could help accelerate the discovery of new drugs to treat disease. We can stop the article right here. This, just this paragraph is enough to get me bullish on clinical research, at least in the next 10 years. But I think it's safe to say in the rest of my life, yes, there's going to be cycles, economic cycles occur, boom and bust periods occur. But long-term research, safe, 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 safe as you can be. And science is on your side and technology is on your side. A program called AlphaFold can predict the structures of 350,000 proteins belonging to humans and other organisms. About 20,000 of these proteins are expressed by the human genomes. Biologists call this full complement the proteome. Uh, discussing further from AlphaFold, Dr. Demis Hasabis, CEO and co-founder, of DeepMind said, we believe it's the most complete and accurate picture of the human proteome to date. We believe this work represents the most significant contribution AI has made to advancing the state of scientific knowledge. And I think it's great illustration and example of the kind of benefits AI can bring to society. We're just so excited to see what the community is going to do with this. The shape of a protein determines its function in the human body. Hasabis related that the 350,000 protein structures predicted by AlphaFold include the 20,000 contained in the human proteome, as well as those of model organisms used in scientific research, such as E. coli yeast, the fruit fly, and the mouse. This is actually uh, something that I'm not even going to talk about, but this has huge research ramifications, too, when it comes to doing early preclinical research on model organisms. This, this alone, forget about the human proteome, this alone is enough, but we have both. We have both of these things happening. AlphaFold ma Alpha made a confident prediction of the structural position for 58% of the amino acids in the human proteome. Uh, the positions of 35.7% were predicted with a very high degree of confidence, twice as many of the, as those confirmed by experiments. While traditional techniques to work out protein structures include x-ray crystallography, cryogenic electron microscopy, and others, none of these is easy to do. It's time-consuming. It takes a huge amount of money and resources to do the structure. Structures. Protein shapes are often determined as part of a target of specific investigations, but no project has previously determined structures for all the proteins made by the body. This reminds me of the Human Genome Project back in like 1999, 2000. 
Uh, only 17% of the proteome is covered by a structure confirmed experimentally. Um, the professor said it's just the speed. The fact that it was taking us six months per structure and now it takes a couple minutes. We couldn't really have predicted what, uh, you know, this to happen so fast. This will be transformative for how our understanding of life works. That's because proteins represent fundamental building blocks. So look, let's do a quick, like quick two minute. Let's end this with a quick two minute. And I'll let you decide how important this is. Let me know in the comments. What do you think the ramifications of this are? going forward for the next decade or two. Tell me in the comments right now. Drugs generally work by interacting with receptors on the surface of cells or enzymes, which regulate the rate of chemical reactions within cells. Receptor and enzyme molecules have a specific 3D structure, which allow only substances that fit precisely to attach to it. This is often referred to as a lock and key model. Most drugs work because by binding to the target receptor site, they can either block the physiological function of the protein or mimic its effect. If a, drug, if a drug causes the protein receptor to respond in the same way as they naturally occur in the substance, then the drug is referred to as an agonist. Antagonists are drugs that interact selectively with receptors but do not lead to an observed effect. Instead, they reduce the action of an agonist at the receptor site involved. Receptor agonists can be classified as reversible or irreversible. Uh, instead of receptors, some drugs target enzymes, which regulate the rate of chemical reactions. Drugs that target enzymes are classified as inhibitors or activators, so which are inducers. Examples of drugs that target enzymes are aspirin, uh, COX-2 inhibitor, and HIV protease inhibitor. Many drug companies will design structural variants for compounds that bind receptor sites in hopes of making a compound that is more effective. Until recently, Design of new drugs was difficult. Scientists had no way to know what the binding site of the protein looked like. Okay. Key, key point right there. Scientists now have a powerful new tool. This is uh, actually an older article. They, ha they really have a powerful new tool now with this. So let me know your thoughts. I'm bullish. I mean, if, as if I need a reason to be more bullish and, and to believe small is the new big. Now biotechs can come out, very niche biotechs focused on just specific proteins, specific enzymes, and come out with more uh, drugs that can target these specific protein structures. So let me know what you think in the comments. Love to hear what you got to say. Love to know what you think about this. And uh, I'll catch you later, guys. I'm bullish. Bye-bye.